Hey guys, what's up? This is Gaumann. Welcome to Horizon Zero Dawn on the PlayStation 4 Pro. We're we'll gonna be getting started pretty soon, but I do have to make a note that I did get an early access copy of this game from PlayStation. And due to the FTC guidelines, I will have to note that verbally and on screen at the beginning and end of every single video. So just a heads up before, you know, people are like, why do you keep on mentioning it? It's because I am legally obligated to, or else I'll get in a lot of trouble. But hopefully this game ends up being a lot of fun. For people who do not know, it is a post-apocalyptic game with robot, I was gonna say zombies, that's not right. <laughs> with robot dinosaurs and creatures, and I'm pretty excited about it. It looked pretty cool from everything that we've seen, so let's go ahead and jump in. What's that now? Don't like the cold? Can't stay in today. We have a ritual to perform, you and I. Here. Wear this. It belonged to my daughter. Good. Today, I speak your name, girl. But will the goddess speak it back? Normally, it would be the mother who declares, if you had one. The whole village would attend, and matriarchs perform the ritual. But we are outcasts. Even so, we keep the tribe's rituals. Otherwise, we might become like the faithless old ones who turned their backs on the goddess. But their wickedness doomed them. To us, were left the splendors of creation, beasts of air, Water, earth, and steel. It is one thing to hunt a beast, another to hunt a machine. You must be humble and respect their power. I will teach you this, one day. No, 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 off your knees. It's nearly time. And yes, you may speak to me. You came to bless the naming. Have not six months gone by since we entrusted her to you. But we are outcasts. You by choice. And she, well... I am a high matriarch, Rost. I bless whom I choose. Then you honor us. Yes, yes, now go and be ready to declare. Go! Oh, mother, this child needs a name by which to know her. That your love may warm her life as the rising sun warms all the earth. Speak her name! Aloy! Uh, 
Okay, I'll be honest, that's a pretty badass way to get a name. And so her name is Blessed. Stop this at once! What have you done? I've blessed the naming of a child. Stubborn woman, you call that curse a child? What did she tell you about his birth outcast? Answer! I've done only what you asked. To raise it, yes. We said nothing of love. Enough. And you, blessing its name like it was one I of the I know my duty to them. Tribe. And to you. Without consultation. I'm here. And wherever you go, I will follow. And then that's how it starts into a menu. Well, that's good. I didn't know that it actually was going to give us subtitles. All I knew was that it was... It started into a cutscene immediately. I'm like, oh god, it's one of those kinds of games. Uh, alright, let me very quickly run through things. Waypoint path pathfinding. Uh, well, maybe we'll keep that off. Maybe we'll see what it's like later on. Sometimes it's nice to be able to just walk around the world a little bit lost. As long as I have a map that I can back up into. So, I know that this is a an open world game and so there's a lot of things that will end up happening as we get into this i expect this to be a pretty lengthy game at least anywhere between 20 to 40 hours it could be longer i'm not sure because i am playing this about four days before release so no information! I haven't even, like, read reviews. I've seen review numbers, and there have been really positive reviews out there. So I'm looking forward to this, not only just because of reviews, but also just because everything I've seen of this game looks great. It's a cool concept! A post-apocalypse with robot dinosaurs and robot creatures and fighting them off with, like, bows and arrows, and that that's creative! So let's go ahead and get into this. Alright, we're gonna play on... It's tempting to play on hard. A more demanding combat experience throughout the journey. We're gonna play on hard. And we'll just have to get good. Aloy! Aloy! Quite the gatherer, aren't you, little bast? Now go and see if you can find some more, hmm? Well done, that's a good boy. Oh, we're gonna get yelled at, aren't we? Children, come with me. This is so rude! I'm just a kid. She's an outcast to be shunned. There. Oh, come on. Okay, we're dead. <laughs> this entire game is going to be a fever dream of a child in a cave. Oh, she landed in a pool of water. Okay, that makes it slightly better. Ross! Down here! Ross! Is that a rat under the water? Ross! What the fuck? He won't hear me. Some kind of... Cave? I'll be honest, this oh, kid's there were rats down way here. smarter than me at the age of six. 
All right, a gift from the past. Go into the cave. We're pretty into it already, but yeah, all right, we'll go further. <laughs> it was funny, the rat was just under the water, casually moving under it like it was above ground. Look at it, they're still going. That is weird, they're making no marks in the water. All right, let's see what we can find in here. We're probably gonna find some weird bats. Bats. No, we're not becoming bat woman. Although that would be very intriguing. Looks tight, but I can get through. Oh, she's confident about that. What about over here? Why did they make two paths for us to go around? Ah, oh, to get attacked by bats twice. That's that's how that works. All right. Well, we're learning controls of the game. Seriously, I think I, I, I think I was pretty dumb until like the age of fourteen, and even then, I was pretty stupid. So for her just be like, "Oh, it looks like a cave." This must be That's a impressive. Of the metal world. One of the old places. Oh, ruin of the metal world. That's what they refer to. Well, I was gonna say modern civilization, but obviously, civilization, the civilization that fell of humanity was way beyond our time. Holy crap. I'm interested to see how it fell. Why it fell. Ross said never go in places like this. And yet here we are! We have to find a way out. What is this place? We have chairs just here? I don't know, to observe these devices that look like they can hold something or spin around. Although as I, I'm a six. I don't understand what's going on here. Oh, books! I think after a thousand years, you probably couldn't read them. <laughs> They'd probably be pretty messed up, especially with all the water damage here. They'd like crumble as soon as you touch them. Not that we'd be able to read English, right? I mean, just because we're speaking English doesn't mean we actually know how to read English. A lot of people get by being illiterate but still being able to speak pretty all right. Or we could be speaking a completely different language translated into English just for the sake of the player. Oh, Jesus. One of these days, the bad god will come out and be like, why have you angered my children five times in one day? Oh god, it's because... It's because I'm a six-year-old kid. Why does everyone have to be mean to me? What did I do? Oh. Well, we have more bats. And I guess we're gonna end it up in there at some point. Oh, I am just so curious about what happened What's here. What's that? Whoa. Oh. She just straight- This is like- <laughs> How many dead people have you seen and just be like, Oh, a dead person. <laughs> I mean, she didn't say it like that, but- You see a dead person for the first time, you're not just like, a dead person. You're like, oh, oh no, oh, oh no, oh no. Is it a dead person from the old world, though? There's something shiny there. Yeah, it sounds like a terrible idea, but sure. Let's touch the rotting dead person and take an item from them. Inspect the strange device. Is this gonna have, like, memories in it? <gasps> oh. oh! Things an interface? How does it do this? Whoa! Toggle the focus by pressing R3. Neat. We're gonna have to learn more about this. So if I get closer to these devices, nothing really happens right now. We just see 
holographic projection. So it's kind of like a an AR thing, like an alternate reality device that just merges with your mind. So even though all these devices are probably completely broken, there's still some residual things going on there. Well, let me... I saw the word Pharaoh under here. Or, well, F-A-R-O. I guess that's the name of a company. Oh, I see more under it, actually. It's like a little tagline. I can't... get it completely, though. Something, something uns. That's all I got here. All right, we'll stop staring at this. <laughs> I would, I shouldn't expect any like heavy details to be placed on the first objects in the game for us to be able to read out. But I saw, I saw English letters. Future society spoke English too. You know, maybe I should go backwards. I'll look at all these rats. Wouldn't it be funny if the rats had stuff glowing on them? Whoa. Okay. There is this whole other path. I wonder why. Oh, that's my phone. <laughs> All right. That alarm, I got spooked. Closed. Maybe this device I found can help. Sure. There's a question mark in there. Activate the focus. Ah. Blast door, heavily shielded. Seal integrity maintained. Bunker door. This is a bunker? 24. Are there 24 people inside of it? How do I get it open? There's gotta be something that can open it. Probably over there, honestly. Yep, alright. The question mark Shit. thing is probably... It's connected to the door, somehow. It's a control module, let's see. Code next, a secure encryption port with holographic display. Data shows required settings for nearby holo locks. Use the holo lock. Oh, this is convenient. Holo lock, electromagnetic. Security mechanism with a standard holographic UI. Interface unavailable. Okay. I like this device. It explains everything. Can you imagine? <laughs> That's like if I was walking around life and I had a device that would tell me the basic functionalities of every little thing I saw. So if I just turned around, I'm walking to a grocery store and I looked at a bag of chips, it just went, bag of chips. 500 calories. We'll make your heart go out at the age of 30. Oh, uh, that sounds delicious. All right, I don't like that uh, the focus slows me down quite a bit. Especially since I have no idea how much we're going to need to use this in the future, but oh well. Maybe we'll get faster in the future when we're an adult who's gotten used to using this thing, or maybe this will be taken away because they're gonna be like, why are you trying to interface with the metal world? They are the wicked and have died. Oh no, is this a puzzle? All right. Let's turn on my focus. Actually, oh! Okay, I have to make it go, I have to make it represent this. Data shows required settings for nearby hollow locks. All right. So if I make this face down, it'll open it up. Easy peasy. Power. That's a pretty, uh... <laughs> that's pretty funny. That's the equivalent of having the security code to your house alarm just, like, taped right next to it. I hope nobody breaks into my home and deactivates my alarm. I need this reminder here at all times because I have a bad memory. Story changed color too. Oh, this is going to be dangerous. We have no idea what's in there. Oh, the numbers changed. It's 78 now. Maybe that's a power representation or it's a fucking old holographic system with broken numbers. Who knows? I did it. Okay, well, this place is obviously not been protected from the elements, despite being a bunker. That's a shame. Oh, what is that? For Director Evans. Director Evans, flash traffic from USRC. Black quartz encryption. I've rooted the message to your hollow grid for viewing. Neat. Voice log, data encryption severe. Also, there was a creature walking in the distance. I don't know what that was about. Director Evans. Flash traffic from USRC. 
Black Quartz Encryption. I've rooted the message to your hologram for viewing. Black Quartz Encryption. That sounds neat. I don't know why he told me to play it again. I was like, oh, did I get a second part of it? The answer is no, not really. So I haven't actually, like, I've watched a good bit of the gameplay of this game. And some of the trailers, but I don't really commit some things to memory as hardcore. So I have no idea what we're gonna find down here. I can't go, oh, in the trailer, <laughs> she has a little device with her at all times. I don't remember anything. But hello. Another dead person. I want it this way. It's the best I can do. He's right behind you. Hi. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Show me. Show me again. I can do. He's right behind you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> She's gonna walk into the dead body. Happy oh. birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Oh, that's adorable. So... Happy birthday, Isaac. Data corruption partial. Did he just die in the spot that he made the message? What's up with that? And who is Isaac? Did Isaac ever live? Did Isaac ever escape the bunker and... ...grow into one of the ancestors of the tribe? Oh... You know... I wasn't even thinking about that. Obviously, the tribes have to have been from surviving groups of whatever crazy event happened. <laughs> I have tagged the rat! I will now always know of its position. No, rat, come back! I found you a brother! Or sister, it's hard to tell with rats. What we got here? Darn it. Okay. Audio log? Connor Chasm. Recorded January 1st, 2066. Wow. That's pretty early on, honestly. I thought the, uh, the society would have fell in like 2100 or something. What was that sound? Uh, we still have metal creatures above us. That's pretty funny that... I don't know if we're about to run into them or if the world just has a couple of them chilling out above us. last night? Well, we did. Kind of. Director Evans invited everyone to gather in the community room. Don't know where she got the party hats. That was a ghoulish touch. So they always said watching the clock tick down to midnight, and I'm thinking, am I the only one who gets the symbolism of this? It might have been worth it if Skylar had gotten drunk again, but I seem to be a mistake she doesn't want to repeat. <laughs> oh, Skylar, that first lady that we heard. Uh, okay, so that means that the I, I'm assuming that the apocalypse happened before January 1st of 2066. Oh shit! What happened to everybody here, man? Like some of the okay, I, I was under. I'm starting to get under the assumption that maybe a bunch of these people got out, but a lot of them are just dead. So maybe they never got out. Hey there. Full stop. I saw them lining up in the community room. Like cattle in a slaughterhouse, but smiling at each other. Shauna handing out meds like being alive is some kind of pain to be eased. Well, not me. I don't want to go quiet. I don't want to trail off. I want a period at the end of my life sentence, not an ellipsis. Hell, <laughs> an exclamation mark. So if that upsets whoever finds this, too bad. I don't know anyone, 
anything anymore. Oh! Oh! Oh, I didn't know that was gonna take that turn. So... Shit! They committed suicide! That guy with a gun, which... is, uh... Not here. Darn it. But the other people, I guess, went out with medicine. Just... So they could end it. Oh, that's really bad. I don't know if I want to be in this bunker anymore. I'm surrounded by... Well, the ghosts of the past. The ghosts of the past aren't really all that pleasant anymore. Not after that happy birthday message to Isaac. Which is also probably actually really sad because it means he probably never saw his kid again. Oh my god. Look at everybody here. Hey, I guess that's Connor. Seriously? Record our thoughts for posterity? Great idea, Director Evans. Like, I haven't done enough for posterity already. Like, I wouldn't be here like this if not for posterity. I'm done with posterity. Posterity can go. <laughs> uh, data corruption. Really capable they die here? of censorship. What happened to them? Oh, they willingly went out. I mean, as willingly as you can get if you get stuck into a bunker of the apocalypse, you know? Oh, well, there's Skylar. I'm not you, Pichu. Always wanted to see that. I never did. Why didn't I go with Owen when he asked? Stupid. <laughs> well. Okay, this place is depressing. We're gonna be hearing the logs of everybody who... who died. Oh, I can't wait to get out of here. <laughs> Every single everything's gonna be cryptic and sad and disappointing. Is this another lady? And maybe that's all I need, you know. That moment the door opened and you were standing there wearing that retro weave dress and the way you smile. I had to look away, are you gonna see? On my face. What had just Blossomed inside me, you know. It was just an instant, but I knew. I knew we'd be forever. God! What's the next one gonna be? Hey, Isaac! It's your dad if you ever find this. I love you, son. And then we just... I don't know, break down. Also... From the perspective of a kid... This is a really huge body. Holy crap. What about everybody else? Oh, yeah. Uh. Well, we have a, a couple more. Or, well, maybe one more. Who's this? Jackson Fry. And pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. I mean, uh, death. I'm sorry. It's been a while. And, well, these meds Johnny gave us are really something. So, uh... Okay, from the top, kids. <coughs> Hail Mary, full of grace. Well, I would say, I wish they had held out a little bit longer, but considering the state of this place, nothing good probably would have come from it. They would have just been alone in a place of rotting bodies. In a bunker. That obviously didn't last as long as it would have been good for. Uh, found me. Oh, Ross Rost. Found me. Well, that's Down convenient. Here. I'm coming. I'm coming. 
Human. Rost. It even has his name already! That's great. Why? Hey, hey, how you doing? I wonder if that's a story detail. Like, maybe every tribe member has their name registered with the system, and then they go to get themselves named. I don't know. Mother be praised. Come, girl. Take my hand. You don't belong down there. Come. Such places are forbidden, Aloy. I fell in. They are of the metal world. What is that on your face? Nothing. Did you find it down there? No. <laughs> Give it to me. No. Aloy, such things are dangerous. No! What, are you gonna get outcasted harder, right? <laughs> Just leave it, man. Well, if you're gonna go sneaking away from home, you'll need to know how to survive in the wild. Come, Aloy. Home now. But starting tomorrow, you will learn to hunt. Sweet! I wanna hunt. I'm sad we didn't actually get, like, a cool, neat toy. All we got was the interface. Which I guess is fine enough. <laughs> we look ridiculous! What do they mean? Take your bow. Bow. <laughs> and enough muttering to that plaything. We descend to the valley now. Follow. I just want to be given a box and just have it be like, box. <laughs> Bottle. The wilds can be dangerous, Aloy. You will need to stay close and do as I say. I know. Now, you're still scratched up from that fall you took yesterday. So let's start there. Take this medicine pouch. I'll show you how to fill it. See this plant over here? It's called South Brush. Come, gather its berries in your pouch. Sweet. Gather the South Brush berries. We're learning. We're learning. I, I, I do enjoy when we have... Aloy, come now. Gather the berries. All right. I like when we have learning experiences that just take place as... Good. We're kids. Now eat the berries. Really? Press up to transfer the health from your medicine pouch to your health yeah. pool. They may taste bitter, but they can save your life. Always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries, flowers, and plants. Where All are right. we? This valley is just a part of all mother's embrace. Embrace. The Nora tribe watches these lands and keeps out the most dangerous machines, usually. I'm gonna grab whatever this is. I mean, he said to keep my pouch filled up with whatever I can find. Medicinal Wild Ember. 60% health add to the health uh, medicine pouch. So if I fill up my pouch for the ton of- river, we'll find a herd of machines, and I will teach you how to hunt. Are they dangerous? All machines are dangerous, Aloy. Their power must be respected. But I will be beside you. I was gonna, I was gonna say, uh, if we can fill up our medicine pouch a whole bunch and just be able to like full heal ourselves at max damage, that'd be interesting. Anyway, Ooh, crouch coming. Crouch and follow me into the tall grass. So what do you consider the tall grass? Oh, this over here. I'm a child, so a lot of grass could be considered tall. There. Now stay low. I don't want no, Aloy. Such machines are called watchers. You must learn to avoid their gaze. If you are to survive in the wilds, I will show you. Listen close and do as I do. Stay still. Wait for it to pass. Now keep low and follow me across.
across the trail to that tall grass. I like how he's teaching me how to hunt machines before hunting, teaching me how to hunt, like, little creatures. <laughs> That's a big step. Oh, another one. Let it pass. Ross doesn't believe in training wheels, man. He's just gonna throw me on the full-on bike. Come, back this way. The slower okay. you move, the quieter you'll be. And crouched walking is quieter than upright. Well, I have that pretty ingrained into my mind, Which at least. Way? Crouch and go slowly. <gasps> I can highlight where they're walking? That's pretty neat. That's the last of them. Let's move on. Did well. They didn't see or hear you. I wonder what happens now if I just close. run out the there and just be just ahead. Just pissed off a watcher. Would I just immediately die, or would he have to fight for me? Holy crap! Who's that? Ignore him. But why is he up there? He's smiling at us. Deb! Get back where you belong! Deb! Where are you? Ignore him. We are outcasts and he is of the tribe. Maybe he doesn't like the tribe. And he is a fool. <laughs> Come now. Let's find that herd. Follow. Whoa. I think I found the herb. Or herb. Uh, herd. What are they called? Strider. I like how they have a number next to them. Five. Do they have, like, levels? Are the levels representative of their danger? Or do they actually, like, level up as the game goes on? I'm not sure. I remember seeing that there are, like, damage numbers there. from some See gameplay them? trailers. These are called Striders. So this could straight up have some decent ha, RPG mechanics. Why'd you chase them off? Huh. To show you how some machines startle easily if they detect you and run away. They're best approached by stealth. Don't worry. We'll catch up with them further down the valley. You'll see. I'd love for him to just be wrong, but he's gonna be right. Now, I want you to find some rocks that fit the cup of your hand. Why? Do as I say, Aloy, and gather the rocks. I will show you how to use them. Okay. So if you look Good. at the top left... That's it. That green bar is our medicine pouch. Those will do. Follow. I just want to note that because I, I just noticed that as we filled it up. The marks around your... Uh, eyesight show how much sound you're making. Oh. Oh. Well, that's neat. I didn't even notice that before. What the hell? Oh, okay, it's a turkey. Oh, that looked like a really, really big bird, and I was worried. I'm going to take all the rocks. Well, at least a decent chunk of them. We left a lot back there. Shh. I'm gathering rocks like you told me to. Stop wasting time. You, you stop wasting my time. Because I'm going to hunt this turkey. We're going to eat like kings. Hey, Over here. And queens. Ooh, I almost hit him with that. Aloy, come now. Fuck it. Duh! Fine. There's the herd. All right. It's time to throw some rocks. But rocks can't hurt machines, right? No, but they can distract them. Draw them into traps. Like that watcher over there. It must be dealt with, or it will warn the herd and send them running before we get in range. Warn them? How? The machines speak to each other, Aloy. Unless they are first silenced. Now you stay here on the ridge. On my signal, throw rocks and draw the Watcher over to me. Wait for my signal. It's so tempting to just not wait for a signal. Alright. 
aim the rocks arc at your destination and release to throw the rock. Aloy, throw rock yeah, go check out what's in the bush. It's probably gonna get stabbed or something. Oh yeah. Cause no one's gonna hear that a little explosion sound. There. Come girl, it's safe now. Alright. So those are still striders, right? Okay. Tag? Tag. I'm being smart with things. I'm using this technology to my advantage. I am merging technology with nature. Sorta of, kind of. Harvest a kill so I can teach you how to make arrows. We're gonna make arrows out of it? Oh shit. Metal shards and a sparker. Harvest the kill, Aloy. Good. Now, gather stalks of Ridgewood from the plants over there. Oh boy. <laughs> I, I hope I don't have to do too much gathering as time Good. goes on. I'm fine so with a little bit of it. Gathered stalks of but Ridgewood holy crap. Use the stalks as arrow shafts and metal shards for our heads. All right. So let's create some arrows. Looks like we can make at least four. Oh well, I was gonna say four batches, but we're full already, so never mind. Good. You'll never run out of arrows if you know how to craft what you need. Let's put those arrows to use. Follow. So I probably shouldn't use a rock on these guys, right? I should just like oh, crouch and headshot them. Here, stay low in the grass and be quiet. It's time to make your first kill, Aloy. The Strider, one of the weaker machines, but even a weak machine can kill a hunter if she's careless. You must study your brain. Its hide is thick. But there are spots where it is vulnerable, like its eye. Can you guess another? What about that thing on its back? Press R3 and scan the enemy. Yep, look at that. The blaze canister. And then there's also... No, that's the other blaze canister, something else. The canister on its back. Is that a weakness? Shits. How did you guess that? The device. It showed me. It's also really that obvious. Anything? Stop playing games. Now, take down that strider. Target the eye or the canister. And if it charges, be ready to roll out of the way. Alright, I'm gonna shoot the canister. Again! When you say roll, what's the button for that? Okay, it doesn't matter. I killed it fast enough. <laughs> oh, it's just gonna be. Oh, gotcha. Ooh. Blaze canister. Blaze storage canister. Shooting elemental canisters with elemental ammo triggers an explosion that will damage everything nearby. Shoot off this component to collect the resource inside. Oh, so I have to shoot those off to get the things in them. Okay. But yeah, it was pretty obvious. It's basically a big glow- or well, not really glowing, but it's a yellow canister on its back. More shards and some wires. You did well today, but you have much to learn. Tomorrow, we train again. What was that? That boy. The one running the brave trails. Follow Eloy, quick. What? Was I supposed to see something or just hear it? Wait, is that guy that we saw earlier getting attacked? Oh, he's gonna die. We're gonna see some terrible things. Like we're gonna see bigger robot dinosaurs kill him. Or he'll fight them off. Or will I save him. And then people will respect me and not treat me like an outcast. Yeah, that plot line will probably just stay. I feel so slow as a kid. Oh my god. Hold on, I have short legs and I can't keep up. Give me like 12 years. Well, things look calm. Oh. <laughs> I can do nothing. It's only a 
matter of time before the machines find that boy and kick him to death. But if I shoot, it'll cause a stampede and then it will trample him. But I can see the past later. Stop telling stories. I'm not. I can sneak through. You will not. Well, I guess we're forced to sneak now. Can't shoot them with my bow. Sneak to the wounded boy. All right. I need to do this slowly and quiet. <laughs> So, I can only show the track of one thing at a time. So, we're gonna wait for this thing to... I guess do that. <laughs> While it's distracted, we can pass on by. I think the Watchers are gonna be, uh... What we're trying to avoid. We're not gonna mess with the main Strider crew. I wonder if you can be seen while moving around in this tall grass? That was never really fully established. It's just encouraged that we stop moving when they're nearby. Okay, thank God. If he had just casually turned around, I'd be in a bad spot. I need to see their path. What is this? Which way? Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> that could have been bad. I don't know if he saw me, like, poking out, or if he saw me gather the Ridgewood. What is it doing? I'm waiting for it to, like, move on, but I guess it's... It doesn't matter. Hey, Teb! Hey! Honestly, I don't even need to be able to see their paths. How do you know to avoid them? They just literally walk on a patrol pattern, and when they stick their head up, we leave. But for now, yeah, we can do this too. How are you doing this? Why is he so amazed? The thing literally gets up on its leg like, what's over there? For like 20 seconds. Okay, it's more like five, but still. You need to learn the ways of stealth, friend. Let's get out of here. It does help to be able to see their tracks, though. And to be fair to this guy, we are a six-year-old. So... We're a little bit more, more skilled than they would have thought. Mother, bless that girl. Bless you both. She, Boy! She saved me. I, I just wanted... Boy! Seal your lips. They are outcasts both. And she is motherless. Come now. Back to Mother's heart. That boy 
Ares should not have spoken to us. It's against tribal law. We'll go home now. Follow. I know the way. On us? Oh, what the hell? What the hell is that for? Stay away, no mother. Wow. <sighs> oh, shit. Things just got real. Let's have a rock fight. Flashpoints offer moments of emotional choice. How Aloy expresses her personality is up to you. Choose the fist icon, and Aloy will confront the challenge directly. Choose a brain icon, and Aloy will use her insight to find a clever, less obvious approach. And I didn't see the other one. Uh... Well, obviously, I could be confrontational and mean. But at the end of the day, he's a kid, I'm a kid. He's gonna do stupid things. It's not a boys will be boys situation. I just want to be smart about things. Stop! What's that? Children, away from there! Back to picking berries. <sighs> You're bleeding. Let me have a look. Here, hold still. I'll get it. Why? Shh. Why am I an outcast? Aloy, this is not the time. Who was my mother? Aloy, I've told you before, that's not for us to know. You were just a newborn when the matriarchs brought you to me. So the matriarchs, they know? <sighs> it's not so simple. But they know. Aloy, we are outcasts. So how do I make them tell me? The matriarchs? There is a way, perhaps. So tell me. It would be dangerous. How? It would take years of training. I don't care. How do I do it? Tell me. The proving. The tribe's rite of passage held every year. Those who pass become braves. But to the one who wins, the matriarchs grant a boon. A boon? Yes. Whatever the winner wants. Then I'll do it. <laughs> Whatever it takes. I'll win the proven. I see. We'd best get started then. Your training will be hard. And it will take years. Start training? Yes. Follow. <laughs> And then we just immediately go into a training montage. Oh my god, I was right! <laughs> I'd like to make a note that as, uh, as Aloy, when we were playing her, I nailed my first shot perfectly. I was about to say, it's gonna fucking super kick us!
that age transition. I'm not able to roll underneath a super kick and shoot them from underneath. I'm gonna be mad. Lied to. So how many years did we just jump forward? Because we just went from six-year-old kid to like full-on adult. Rost? 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 Where is he? Two days before the proving and he goes off without me? He wouldn't do that. Well, I mean, it could be a legitimate part of the training. All right, we've just unlocked a whole bunch of stuff. We're level three, and we get to start off with a bunch of skills. We have these different trees to go around. This is pretty simple. They made it not something confusing to look at, but I have no idea what I would want. I think Gatherer would be a good one to grab first. Hunter reflexes. Time slows down while aiming during a jump or slide. Oh well. Uh, that's cool. Silent Strike. Press R1 to perform a silent takedown on small machines and humans, or deal high damage to medium enemies. These sound nice. We're gonna gather, we're gonna grab Gatherer first. And then we'll wait for now, because I have no idea what the next thing we're gonna do. I, I like the min-max thing. You can, your spear can knock off machine armor using R1. Oh. You can also knock over small machines using R2. So we have a melee. We do have a melee. We have light melee, heavy melee, and then we can obviously shoot. It's gonna take me a bit to get used to some of the controls, but we're not using a gun. Which should make it a little bit easier for me to just go and accept my, my position in the world. I don't have to have, like, absolute super accuracy because, well, it's a fucking bow and arrow, you know? Although I could increase the sensitivity just a smidge, just a little bit. Uh, control mapping. Oh, can I not actually raise up my sensitivity? Oh. What? Brightness, display, controls just has Y-axis, aim assist, sprint toggle, control mapping. Why? Okay, that, that, that annoys me a little bit, because it would be nice if I could raise up my sensitivity just a little bit. Just a little bit, although there is a little bit of a c acceleration. Or maybe I'm just feeling things weird. Oh well. I'm just trying to get used to some of the controls before we move on. Oh, quick save. The hell that's not a <laughs> that's not a quick save if the world like lags out and possibly like advances time oh I can't wait the the hunt and then we can make fire arrows too Ooh. all right we're just gonna grab all this it'll save me time in the future because apparently we can get quite a bit Hey again, viewers, thank you for watching through this video. If you enjoyed it, please let me know down below in the comments. And as a mandatory reminder, this game was provided to me for free by PlayStation. Thank you very much, PlayStation, and again, thank you, viewers.